Today we're grading the Dick Dick. Tiny little ass deer team, toy deer team, savanna level, east and west coast African savannas. Teensy tiny eensy weensy tiny little Dick Dicks. A little one foot tall deer who live in the middle of Africa, the major leagues of ferocious wild animals. So you know Dick Dicks are getting wailed on by leopards, caracals, lions, hyenas, wild dogs, monitor lizards, cheetahs, jackals, baboons, eagles, hawks, and premium animals unlocked at 5,000 followers. The name Dick Dick comes from a call that the females make when they're alarmed. Alarmed at how much they want dick. Here's what it sounds like. But if you slow it down, it sounds like this. I'm looking for some big old dick, 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 dick. Looking for a dick, looking for a dick, looking for a dick. Despite being horny as fuck, they're actually monogamous deer. You can't really be out trying to get tons of dick and puss when any moment you can get chomped by a lion. The thing about dick dicks is they're one of the few deer who enjoy literature. In 2017, a dick dick was found with a copy of Arthur Bradford's Dog Walker. In its verified Amazon review, he said, I'm a dick dick. I don't have time to read long novels because my whole life is being chased by predators. So a book of short stories works out. My favorite was the puppies with flippers because they all die before maturity and can never chase me. If you're looking for a book where some guy goes around having ambivalent friendships with the criminally insane, pick up a copy of Dog Walker and knock yourself out. Let's see what the fuck I'm supposed to say here. Obviously, this episode is sponsored by Arthur Bradford's Dog Walker Instagram account, which is in no way affiliated with Arthur Bradford, the guy who wrote Dog Walker, real person. Okay, let's grade this dick. Dicks have this little below the eye asshole that they shit on various tree branches with so they can smell their way back home. Because their whole lives are spent running away from wild motherfuckers, they have bootleg elephant trunks that they use as a form of ram air intakes to create passive supercharging effects during high-speed runaways from every other animal. It's amazing these pipsqueak dick dicks can even survive alongside these wild beasts. I'm gonna give them an A, and maybe a little D.